Hi everyone, in this video I wanted to show you what direction cosines are and how to derive all of the formulas from scratch. So direction cosines. So we're going to do this all from nothing. So we'll start by drawing a picture of the XYZ plane. So this here will be the Z axis and this over here will be the X axis and this here will be the y-axis. All right, now we're going to draw a vector, uh, which we'll call v. This is our vector v. Let's say it starts here at the origin, and it goes this way here. So this is v. Now I'm going to draw the standard unit vectors, okay? Very, very carefully. I'll start by drawing um, k hat. So k hat will be this yellow vector here. So this is k hat. Recall k hat is the vector 0, 0, 1. Okay? And then we have another vector here. I'll use the same color. This is i hat. Recall the vector i hat is the vector 1, 0, 0. And the last one is our friend j hat, which is the standard unit vector right here. So this is j hat. So I'll squeeze it in between i and k, and this is the vector 0, 1, 0. So these are the standard unit vectors. All right, so what are direction cosines? Well, first, we're going to talk about um, what's called direction angles. So let me change colors here for added clarity. So I'm going to draw an angle here between i hat and v. We're going to call that alpha, okay? So alpha, this is the angle between, now I said i hat and v, but I'm going to say v first because we're describing v. So it's the angle between the vector v and the standard unit vector i hat. This is called a direction angle. Okay, it's called a direction angle. Let's draw another angle. So the angle between j hat and v will be this one here. This we'll call beta. Okay, so beta, this is the angle between, and I said j hat and v, but I'll write v first because we're describing v, so it's more important to mention that first, just being really, really, really picky. <laughs> so v and j hat, and apologies about my voice, I'm getting over a cold, I really shouldn't be making more videos, but this, this is too much fun. Um, and the last one, the last angle, I'm running out of colors, oh my god, um, is the angle between k hat and v, so it's going to be this one here and that's gamma. So gamma, this is the angle between v and k hat. So these guys here, all of these, these are called direction, direction angles. Okay, they're called, they're called direction angles uh, of v or for v. Okay, they're called the direction angles of v or for v. So what are the direction cosines? So let me show you how uh, to come up with those. It's pretty, pretty cool. So recall there is a formula from um, the past. If you have, say, u dot v, that's equal to the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v, times the cosine of, let's say, theta, right? So let's just take one simple example. Let's take a particular case. Let's take the case where we dot v with i hat. So if we do v dot i hat, we would get the magnitude of v times the magnitude of i hat times the cosine of theta. And i hat is a unit vector, so its magnitude is 1. And v dot i hat, well, if you write v in component form, you could suppose it's v sub 1, v sub 2, v sub 3, dot 1, 0, 0. And over here, you just have the magnitude of v. And I messed up here, but I can fix it. It's not cosine theta, it's cosine alpha, right? Because alpha is the angle between v and i hat. Right here, theta is the angle between u and v. So this really should be an alpha. There we go, fixed. 
Good save. Cosine alpha. When you take the dot product here, you get V1 times 1, which is 1, and then the rest of it is 0. So you get V1 equals the magnitude of V times the cosine of alpha. So this means that the cosine of alpha is equal to V1 over the magnitude of V. This is one of the direction cosines. And so you can guess that the other ones are very, very similar. So let me write them over here. So recap, we have cosine of alpha equal to V1 over the magnitude of V. So you do the same thing, right? You play the same game, except you use um, J hat. And when you use J hat, you get cosine of beta. Then you do the same thing and you use K hat. But when you use K hat, you get cosine of gamma. And you get the other direction cosines. So cosine of beta is going to be, you guessed it, V sub 2 over the magnitude of V. And then cosine of gamma will be equal to V sub 3 over the magnitude of V. And so these, my friends, are called the direction cosines. So direction, direction cosines. Really beautiful stuff, right? This is this is what math is all about. And I want to show you one more thing, and then I'll, and I'll end the video, and we'll do an example in, in another video. Um, if you have a vector v, I'm sure you know that you can turn it into a unit vector. In other words, you can normalize it. That's what normalizing means. It means making it a unit vector by dividing by the magnitude of v. So you can do this. And then what you can do is you can write v in, say, the you know standard unit vector notation. You can write it as you know, v1 i hat plus, you know, v2 j hat plus v3 k hat. And then each of these is going to get divided by the magnitude of v. Writing really small here. I could have written a little bit bigger. Let me write it a little bit bigger now. So this is going to be v1 over the magnitude of v i hat plus v2 over the magnitude of V j hat plus V3 over the magnitude of V k hat, right? And the thing is, here's the thing. This first piece here, this is uh, cosine of alpha. So this is going to be equal to cosine of alpha i hat plus cosine of beta j hat plus cosine of gamma k hat. So you can take any unit vector and write it as cosine alpha i hat, cosine beta j hat, cosine gamma k hat, right? So any unit vector can be written in that way. So recap, let me do it up here. So if u is a unit vector, you can write it as cosine alpha i hat. I'll show you one more thing, plus cosine beta j hat plus cosine gamma k hat. And this is the last thing I promise. Check this out. If you take the magnitude of this bad boy, this is really cool. It's a unit vector, so it's 1. So that means that cosine squared alpha plus cosine squared beta plus cosine squared gamma, and you take the square root, right, that's the magnitude, is equal to 1. If you square both sides, you end up with simply cosine squared alpha plus cosine squared beta plus cosine squared gamma equals 1. <laughs> so you get this really, 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 really cool identity. Again, I did that kind of quickly, but um, uh, video is getting kind of long. Um, I hope this video has made sense. So direction angles can describe a vector uh, pretty precisely. And that's it.